This leads us to the entrance of Cape Coral facing south. Notice the heavily wooded charm and beauty of the terrain. Folks in these parts know that pine trees cannot grow in swampland. These trees are positive proof that Cape Coral is situated on high, dry pine and palm land. And as our plane turns to the right, we catch a glimpse of our lovely new restaurant, which is modern down to the last detail. Now let's find out what this same area looks like from the ground. There's the entrance to Cape Coral. Here's the Cape Coral billboard. The area where the billboard is located has already been sold and a very plush Miami Beach type motel will soon be built there. Before going any further, let's take one backward glance and face north. By facing north, we can see how Del Prado Parkway merges with the county highway. The county highway leads us into US Route 41, which is known as the Tamiami Trail. The Tamiami Trail is the main arterial highway connecting Miami, Fort Myers, and Tampa. Here's a closer look at the newly paved Del Prado Parkway. As you can plainly see, this main expressway that leads into Cape Coral passes through rich, fertile farmland. This rich, fertile soil is typical of the high-quality farmland on which the entire city of Cape Coral is being built. This last shot of Del Prado Parkway shows you the entire property of Cape Coral and gives you an idea of the vastness of this tremendous development. And now that we have our bearings, let's get on with our tour. By turning off Del Prado Parkway at the corner where our restaurant is located, we run into another expressway which is known as Cape Coral Parkway. There are more than 14 miles of 100 foot wide expressways like this that are already completed. By following Cape Coral Parkway from the air, we run into another main highway which is known as Coronado Parkway. From this angle, you can see Cape Coral Parkway running from left to right and Coronado Parkway running straight out in front of us. On this corner where they intersect, you can see the four apartment building that we are temporarily using as our field office. And now that we have our sense of direction, let's get back to the ground so we can see what this area looks like from a closer view. We are back on Cape Coral Park. Let me explain why we do this. We get our perspective from the air, and then we examine the area from the ground. At the same time, we are making a complete circle of the Cape. This is the Sentinel House. The Sentinel House is manned by security officers for the purpose of screening visitors. This house was specially built for the protection of our early residents, but now it will become a permanent part of Cape Coral. Directly behind the Sentinel House is our field office. This is the fourplex building that you saw from the air. There is a growing need for buildings like this, and the company is offering liberal inducements to those people who are interested in building and leasing twin duplex apartments of this nature. And now we are going to look at some of the many waterways and homes that have already been completed. To do this, we must follow Coronado Parkway South. And as we travel along this tremendous stretch of expressway, we begin to realize the gigantic engineering job that's been done. Yes, Cape Coral is really and truly an engineering masterpiece. Please notice that every effort is being made to save the trees. There will be a great deal of additional replanting after the land has been brought to grade. But right now, everything possible has been done to save these valuable trees. 
And now, let's get over to the other side of the property. To do this, we turn off Coronado Parkway into El Dorado Parkway. And by following El Dorado Parkway, we arrive at the east bank of the property. Here is one of the riverfront homes that is being constructed. Many of the people who own homes like this have taken up temporary residence and fought buyers until such time as their homes are ready for them. And as we drive along the riverfront, we can see some of the lovely homes that have already been completed. These homes have been occupied for quite some time. Isn't that a beautiful setting? But now, let's get back on the beam before we get lost. Let's take to the air again and look the situation over. And by now, I believe you are beginning to grasp the enormous amount of work being done at Cape Coral. Progress like this is the talk of the industry. Here's a corner where a 200-foot waterway converges with a cross waterway. The cross waterway also has other tributaries that stem from it. Everything has been worked out to the smallest detail. And now we have arrived at the southernmost part of the Cape. This is the area where the yacht and racket club will soon be located. Over in the corner, you can see the yacht basin, which looks like a large inverted T. And as we continue south, the entire yacht basin area comes into full view of the camera. Please notice that the body of water in the foreground, as well as in the background, is the Caloosahatchee River. It is at this point that the Caloosahatchee, after flowing south, for several miles along the Cape Coral shoreline, turns west on its course to the Gulf. And simply by following the natural course of the river, we get an exceptional view of the entire Cape. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Here's another view of this same area. This shot plainly shows even more houses in the process of construction. Yes, it's really amazing how people are building homes in Cape Coral. In this shot, you can plainly see a vast network of parkways and side streets, or center fingers, as they are called. These center fingers, as you will notice, all come to a dead end. But you will also notice that at the dead end, there is a special turnaround. This close-up view shows you the convenience of the turnarounds. These turnarounds were carefully planned for easy entrance or exits wherever there are dead end streets. We get our last view from the west as our journey comes to an end. As we circle and come in for a landing, once again we see our fourplex field office to the right of Coronado Parkway. And just to emphasize the enormity of the width and length of Cape Coral Parkways, here's our four-passenger Cessna 172 making a perfect landing right on Coronado Parkway. And now, our little journey has come to an end. 